Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm really excited to be launching my brand new Reveal Wheel collection. So this is a kinetic style card concept. So last time we had the pop-up bouquets, we've done the creative cuts, which was the folding concept. This time we've got the movement. It's a really, really fun card. You can stamp and have anything on there really. I've actually got a photograph um, sample to show you as well, because someone did mention that when I launched recently on Create and Craft. So I'm going to be live today over on the Craft Stash Facebook page at 12.30. If you're not on Facebook you can also watch via YouTube because they will be streaming although saying that because I'm actually doing a Facebook takeover so I'm actually going to be going solo on the Facebook it may go up onto YouTube after the, the actual uh, live Facebook launch so if you are on YouTube only it may be a bit later than the 12.30 but I'll share everything in the description box below so check out those links and you'll see all the times and everything there and I'll also link all of the product that I'm going to show you in a moment. It's quite a large collection there are stencils we've got embossing folders we've got the paper pad then we've got the stamps and die combos for each of the themes and we've got the main die for the mechanism as well so I'm going to flip the camera around now. We'll go through everything. But like I said, head over to Craft Stash at 12.30 if you can, because we will have giveaways. There will be bundle offers. They usually do deals for the day. And you'll also have the opportunity to win some of the product because they usually pull the winners during the live. And then you have other opportunities over on Craft World as well. So if you haven't been there, consider going across, like I said, at 12.30. It's a really nice kind of, well, it's usually an hour, but I tend to be around an hour and a half to two. So because I'm going solo today, I can kind of do it as long as I want. So I do want to go through everything. I have myself three to four demos already prepared. So I'm going to be showing you everything that I show you in a moment in more detail and you'll see it all being used. And for anybody that has purchased or is going to be purchasing, I will also have all of the tutorials going up onto my Mater Surprise YouTube channel very soon. So if you are thinking, oh, I'd like to go and have a look over on her other channel, head over to Mater Surprise. Again, I will link it in the description box below and you'll see all of my tutorials over there. So let's get into it and let me show you all of this lovely product. So this is everything in the latest release. So this is the main reveal wheel mechanism here. So this will fit onto a six by six card base and I'll show you the cards that you can make in a moment because I've got quite a few samples to share. So all of this will fit through a standard die cutting machine. You don't need any of your larger ones and I'll just show you how the dies look here as well. So you can see I've just got them in one of my A5 pockets. So you have your, your large plate here which will cut your finger pull and the square shape and also the circle the hole in the middle you've then got your mat layer then you have the, the actual wheel itself with the cog detail and then you've got your disc here to attach it to the card and then your pie piece and this is what you can use to have as many apertures as you want you can have one large kind of semicircle you could just have a quarter cut it's entirely up to you and you'll see all that in the tutorials that i will be uploading and also in the demos later on today and if there's anybody watching who doesn't want the themed product to go with it you can buy this on its own as well and use it with your stash at home you know it works with a lot of your small stamps but if you're opening up this aperture space here then you can have larger sentiments and all kinds of things so you can get really creative with it next we then have the stamp and die combos so this is how they will come so you get 32 stamps and you get a belly band and then on the back you have 32 dies which will cut everything out including the sentiments so there's a lot in there and to give you an idea on how they look once they're stamped and coloured I've done this one here so this is your perfect plants I'm a huge plant lady so actually these plants on here I have in my own home so that's where I got my inspiration from and then the lovely Sarah she drew these ones for me and we've got this wonderful stamp set we've got some really nice fun pun sentiments there home is where the plant is be the person who decided to grow for it thank you for helping me grow have an unbelievable birthday and you've got the little planter here and you can pop grow smile you also get the turn here and the arrow in every single stamp set and you also get a die that will cut the arrow on its own as well if you want to use that um you are fantastic you've got the to the cra to the crazy plant and then you've got man or lady rooting for you which you can stamp in there along with the smile and the grow there's loads of really nice sentiments along with those images there so sticking with the plant theme i'll show you the overlay as well so each theme has its own overlay and this one is the perfect plants so this here will fit perfectly on top of this section here and again i'll be showing you how you can cut that because you can cut all these sections out if you just like to make 
cards you know you don't want the mechanism at all then you can buy the overlays again on their own you might just want to buy those two together for example these make really nice easel cards you could turn them into shaker cards you can just die cut this as it is with the decorative corners again i'll show you how this looks on the my uh, magnetic sheet here so each of these corners are actually different designs so you could have each different one if you want or you can just add this one into each corner you might want to just do two opposite corners and also you can paper piece all this back together so these will look lovely paper piece with all the different colors of the greens and then you could have colorful plant pots and it does cut into the cardstock if you just dye with that one and if you run that one through with it then it will cut it out as a whole circle so you can get quite creative with these and i again will be sharing more inspiration over the months as i always do with my collection on other ways to use all of this as well okay so that's the plants then we'll go on to whatever the weather so here again is the stamp and die combo you've got the belly band there and this is how these ones look you can see they look really nice once they're all coloured in. And you've got rain, rain, go away. We'll weather this together. You are my sunshine. You can see the turn here again and the arrow. Showered with fun. No matter the weather, we are best friends forever. There's a baby shower one there as well. So you've got something, like I said, for all the seasons. And you've got the dies there to cut it all out. And then the overlay for that one is this one here. So with this overlay here, you've got this lovely kind of sun is what it's meant to represent or starburst. It looks great in rainbow colours. You can paper piece all this together. And then you've got your four seasons in the corner detail. So you've got your spring, summer and then autumn and winter. So it's up to you, you know, if you have the same one in each corner or if you're doing something that's representing all the seasons with the stamps, then you can have each one and you don't have to have them together. You can have them, you know, just the corners and then have something different in the middle. You just loads and loads of ways i've only been able to do so many but there will be lots more inspiration coming and i just can't wait to start seeing what people make with them themselves and start sharing over on the facebook group we've got anybody new that's watching if you go to facebook and type in mixed up crafters you'll find our facebook group and you can share anything there that you've made following my tutorials and it's such a lovely um space so yeah i can't wait to start seeing what people make i'll show you the dies again here so you can see what I mean about the paper piecing. So all of these cut. So if you just put that on the card and run it through, it will cut that into the card. Again, if you cut it with the outline die, then it will cut that circle out for you. And you can see the four corners are really detailed. And they do look really nice. Great for shaker cards as well. And I've got a shaker card example to show you using this one. And then we've got the out in space. So again, the same stamp and die combo with the belly band. And this is how the stamps look coloured. This and the plants, I think, are my favourite. I just I just really enjoyed colouring these ones and using them. You've got the little astronaut there and he's got his tether. You've got your shooting. Well, that's more of a comet, but you've got the shooting star. There we go there. You've got the different planets. Um, you've got your rocket, the alien there. Birthday greetings, Earthling. And then you've got your turn here in the arrow again. Happy Earth Day. Um, you are out of this world. I'm over the moon for you. Love you to the moon and back. You are my. St you are a star. Sorry, you've got the, the space station there, the moon, and I just think they look really nice, all coloured in. And then the overlay is this one here, and I've got some samples using holographic card with this. It looks so good. So you've got the rockets in each corner there. You've got the planets, and then you've got a shooting star and the moon, and then you've got all the planets and the rocket there as well. And this is it on magnetic sheet it's exactly the same as the others so that one will die cut straight into your cardstock and then again if you want it to be a separate circle then you just add the outline die and you can see those as well so i will definitely be doing some paper piecing with these at some point because doing all the planets and cutting all these in different colors i think will look really really nice then the paper pad so this is your eight by eight paper pad for each of six designs and it's 180 gsm you get an overview of the papers there so you've got two for your weather themed stamps and dies you've got two with the space and then you've got two with the plants there and i've used a lot from the front so i'm just going to go from the back here start from the beginning so you get this lovely one here and this will look really nice with your swing cards if you've got the jungle swing collection that i launched that would look really nice but also with the creative cuts as well i can see that with your flowers then you've got this lovely one here 
Just love the hot pink and the green there, some of my favourite colours. This one looks really nice cutting. If I just grab the plate here, you cut that and you have the rocket flying there. It looks really cool. And then this one here is one of my favourites. I just love all the smiley faces on the different planets there. And I just love the colour in that one. Then you've got the clouds. Again, you could use this with the space theme one as well. I think it would look quite cool. But it looks lovely with the whatever the weather stamps and dies. And then you've got this fun one here with the sun and the clouds with that blue background. So they're perfect if you don't want to do too much kind of stamping and colouring yourself on the front of the card. Die cutting it with the pattern paper is pretty much done for you. And I've just remembered, I forgot to put the embossing folders here. They were just off to the side, so I mentioned them at the beginning. So we'll go through those in a moment. But these are the stencils. So you get four stencils. So you've got, I'm going to show you them on here because I made this one up here. So if we go down, they all come on this piece of cardboard. So you've got this one here which will give you these effects. And this one looks really nice on the reveal wheel. And again, I've got a sample to show you of that in a moment. But you've got that one. Then you have your snowflake. Again, use your embossing powder um, paste with these. It looks really nice. So you see that one there. And you've got the raindrops. And that's nice using like different shades of blue and grey if you want like a stormy look or if you use like your yellows and purples and blues you get some lovely effects and then there's the the clouds there as well so that's the four stencils and then the embossing folders so you get the stencils work with the whatever the weather and then the embossing folders work this one with the perfect plants and then this one with the out in space so i'll show you this one first i love it on the holographic card and just see all that detail and these are repeat images from the overlay dies so the corner ones you'll see the rocket there and you've got the planets and the stars and the shooting stars as well it looks really nice and you can also you know use your inks onto these and then run them through you'll get lovely effects that way as well so there's lots you can do with embossing folders so that's that one for the out in space and then this is the perfect plants this one is really nice you'll see the samples when you die cut and stamp the plants you can put them in these spaces here and you can build it up a bit more that way as well but I've got the demo that I'm going to be showing today is using that and I'm using like green ink and everything on it but you'll see the other one as well in a moment using this same card I just thought it shows up the images really well and these are all six by six size embossing folders so I'll start off with the perfect plant sample. So this one here, I've used the pattern papers and then the well done. I've actually stamped using my alphabet dies that I launched a couple of collections ago. This one says to the crazy plant man and then you just turn the cog there. You can see the arrow and it will reveal the different images that you stamped. Then there's this one. This is actually the one on the front of the packaging. So I've just popped them all up on some foam. And this one says, thank you for helping me grow. Again, you can see the side of the cog there with the arrow and the turn here. This one uses the embossing folder, just like I showed you before. And I've just popped them up just for a really quick and easy card there. Thank you for helping me grow. Got the little smile there. And I think the mirror card always works well with embossing folders. It really does show up all that detail. That's another one with the embossing folder, using it on a darker card. And I've heat embossed. Thank you for believing in me. And again, just pop them up on some foam. Then there's this one here. This is one of my favourites from them all. So I've actually got the aperture at the bottom because you can have it anywhere you want. And this finger pull you could have down here. You could have it on the left if you want. You can even have it from the top. You really can just move this around however you want. The lady is stamped using my chunky alphabet dies. And this one says to the crazy plant lady. I like with the having the hanging plant there coming off the, the letter. And then this one, just turn it. Have an unbelievable birthday. And again, all the images, and I've just used the pinks and greens there so it matches the paper. You are fantastic. I love that one with the little cute little smile on it. And then back there again. This one, to the crazy plant lady in a different way, and I love the watering can. So it looks like it's, you know, watering all of the plants there, and it works great with this sentiment, be the person who decided to grow for it. And just stamp the uh, turn here. And then I just, with a ruler, just drew a line there and a line. I extended that one, actually. So, it, you know, it just helped it because they were both the same height otherwise. Again, just turn that one. You can see all the different images rooting for you. And it's really easy to work. Back to the beginning. And then that one's using the overlay. 
so you can see how that looks and again just turn that around to reveal all the different images and then that one was just a simple one to show all the corners there and all of that detail and then home is where the plant is so that's just some inspiration using the plants and then this is the out in space so we've got this one here now i made this galaxy background and i'm going to do a tutorial showing you how to achieve that because i think it just works perfectly again with the stamps and dies so i've done some heat embossing there with the happy birth but earth day and i just used some glossy accents over some of the stars there for some texture also on the space station and the all of the planets there are just popped up on some foam and then again you just turn that one around you can see the openings much bigger on this one and it just reveals all the different images i love that that kind of look there have a blast with the rocket and then back again to the two astronauts so that's that version this one is using the overlay so you can see there again in the holographic with the black behind have a blast this was all heat embossed all of this so the alien all of the stars there every single section is heat embossed just to give you you know a different look again then this is just a plain one using that overlay and i've put the holographic behind and then i just inked and blended this background and i've used the corners there so you can see how they look this is another one so this is using the embossing folder and i've added some of my sparkle on the top of that one and you can see them all there i love the little tether that comes off the the astronaut and then again that one you can see all of the different images there this one's using the pattern paper one of my favorites love it really just such a fun card and then again just turn that one you can see all of the images this one's using the other scene with the pattern paper with the rocket there. And again, you see all the different images there. And then there's this one here, Birthday Greetings Earthling, using that holographic card and the overlay. I actually made this one as one of the demos. You've got the alien there and again, all those planets. And then this is the whatever the weather. So this is the overlay and I made it into a shaker card just done like a rainbow inked background there and you can see the corners I just used the start the sun one there in all of the corners you are my sunshine I love that it's such a colorful card this is using the stencil so you can see I've got half and half but if you just move it around you can see you can just have all of the the rainbow or you can have the rain like so we'll weather this together and then I've just got a selection of the stamped images and again the corners there this one i did manage to get a christmas card out of it so this was the merry christmas sentiment dies from my christmas collection and then i just stamped the snowman and i think it's the snowman all the way yeah it was really <laughs> i really stretched the snowman but again it was just to give you an idea of other things that you can do with this you can see the stencil background there as well with the snowflakes and then i just made these little kind of snow hills there as well but um, just to give you an idea of what else you can do with them. This one was just another example of that overlay. So I just used rainbow colours there to paper piece it back, um, back together there. And then no matter the weather, we are best friends forever. And then you can see the corners. And then this one uses the stencils, one of my favourites. And then all of the elements there. And again, rain or shine, you are on my mind. We'll weather this together. Rain, rain, go away. Again, fun cards. This one's a baby shower card. I've used my dies again there and the pattern papers. Showered with fun. You've got the umbrella, the sun, and then baby shower there and it just keeps going. And then this one here, another favourite of mine. See all the images there. And then I've made the aperture slightly bigger. And again, as you turn it, we'll weather this together. And I've just put every element really in this one. They're all there. You've got the little thermometers there. And I've just inked all of that using a variety of colours of the distressed inks. And then this one here, needed to finish it. I didn't get around to it. I was going to stick a few more bits and pieces, but this is using the overlay. Again, how you cut into it. But I'm going to be demoing this one today. So if you want to check that out, then do head over like I said at the beginning, and um, again, just some of the images there. You are my sunshine. And I love this one because I've used the 
card, the glittery card there. And then another one I wanted to show was using the Fun at the Fair. The characters in that collection, I launched that back in the summer. They fit perfectly in here. So this is quite plain. I mean, the paper's very busy, but I haven't got anything else here. I would maybe do a nice big happy birthday or something. But you'll see all the little characters fit perfectly. So if you've got the Fun at the Fair and you want this one as well, they do work really nicely together. And then another example is the easel cards or just using the overlays. So you can see that shaker that I've used there. You've got this one. So that's the sunburst. That's whatever the weather. This is the plants. And then this is the out in space. I love that one. I think it's so cool. I love the colours that I've done to create that galaxy background. So that's another idea. And then lastly is the photograph um, idea, which I, I think looks really good, actually. And that's this one here that I made. So I just opened the space there a bit bigger. I've used the Girls Just Want to Have Fun, which was from my makeup collection, which was last year. And then this is a group of me and my friends at a recent birthday celebration. Um, what I would suggest is I'll, I'll probably end up doing a tutorial on how to add photos to it. But you want to make sure that the photos are six by four in size and you want it to be a landscape as well, which these were. This one fits perfectly, but you'll see as I go around, I've kind of lost <laughs> my friends' faces here. Like Katie's kind of disappeared underneath there. So this was actually the first photo taken of us. So I was, my idea was that this would be, you know, as you take it out of the envelope and then when you turn it, you then reveal this one of us all sticking our tongues out and pulling silly faces but I just thought I would share this one so you can see how it does work with photos I actually really like it and I'm definitely going to be doing this again just for those you know more personalized cards so that's everything so I hope you've enjoyed the latest collection from me and like I said at the beginning if you do want to see this in more detail and actually being demoed then head over to the craft stash Facebook page and in a few hours time I will be there live and I'll be able to answer any questions that you have and uh, show you some more fun cards and give you more inspiration. So check out the links in the description box below if you want to go and head over and see this product and the prices and the different bundle offers and things like that. And uh, check out all the other links that are there as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.